Hello and welcome to lesson one on essential maths for physics. We're going to start looking at vectors soon uh, so it's important that we do a little bit of geometry revision before that and we're going to start by having a look at right angle triangles. So I'll draw myself a right angle triangle and let's just remind ourselves if I make this angle here theta Let's remind ourselves what the opposite, adjacent and hypotenuse are. Well, the easy ones to remember are the opposite one. So that's our opposite side, opposite to the angle. And we shorten that to op. And this uh, horizontal is adjacent to the angle. It's next to it. So we call that the adjacent. And we shorten that to edge. And the last one is the hypotenuse. And we shorten that one to hype. Okay, and of course there are our sine, cosine and tangent rules. And the sine rule says that sine theta is equal to the opposite over hypotenuse. So op over hype. And the cosine of that angle is equal to the opposite, sorry, the adjacent over the hypotenuse. And last but not least, tangent, tan of theta, is opposite over adjacent. And hopefully you've all got yourself a Casio calculator. And we know that on our Casio calculator we've got sine, cosine and tangent. Okay, and we will, uh, I'll, not in this one, but I'll look in another shorter lesson, we'll have a look at um, radians and gradients. Gradients, gradients and degrees, which are three ways of measuring angles. But we'll primarily be using radians in a lot of our calculations but for the moment we're just using this to remind ourselves so what this lets me do is if I've got a line and an angle I can find the opposite and the adjacent now that's going to be really useful because what we will be looking at is vectors so if we imagine this line here represents a force acting in that direction we can split that force into two a horizontal vector going that way and a vertical vector going that way. So if I had those two forces acting on a point then it would actually the resultant force would actually be along that hypotenuse and that's why we need to be familiar with this. So that's very quickly our first maths lesson. <laughs> 